Now let's take a look deeper at the voices. The voices are really, really key to understand in context with that person's design. And what we're looking at is that we have, let's start at the top, the insist to know or the desist that I don't know. The hope to foster belief or this despair because we don't have something to believe in. The encouragement to feel or to make a change. The discouragement to feel or to have progress. We have the caution in acting or taking action to try something. The abandon to act without caution, to try something new and just go for it, our manifestor traits, very different from each other. If we look at the difference in frequency, these are our three manifestor traits right here. One in relationship is going to be talking about, I want some new experiences. I feel like a change. I'm bored with our relationship. You know, we, we need to go do something new. We have to share new experiences. Let's go have orgies. No, I'm just kidding. Not really. Let's go have new experience, shared, shared in personal experiences. Yeah, it really depends on everything else in the design. But you know what I mean? It's very, very different as a frequency. This is the desire stream of feeling, deeply sexual. So that is a totally different thing. What if it's Mars up there or Jupiter? You know, boisterous good times in groups. Ha <laughs> ha. See how you can start to um, recognize how this works. So a 35 is going to say, well, the relationship is o over because I'm bored with this. Our sexual positions are not stimulating anymore. Something like that because I'm bored. And so I'm going to go off and have new adventures with someone else. The 12, I'm generalizing now. Please do understand this is all about um, just trying to get a feel for each of the gates and there's a lot of other things in the body graph that will lead to something like this as well but the 12 is going to say the romance is gone I'm not passionate about you anymore okay caution abandon uh, I want to I want to try something with someone I have more uh, romantic feelings towards you know I want to I want to sing songs too because I'm in the mood right? This is about moodiness and romance, deeply romantic, any individual traits, deeply romantic, especially here, because we're talking about where is it going? The emotional system, which is the drive for pleasure and sex and romance and all that stuff. Okay. So now let's look at 45. I have, this is about being possessive of your partner or non-possessive. I have, I don't have my woman, my darling, you know, when they say my, yeah, you're mine, that kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know if you could feel that when I said mine, but having played in the realms of BDSM, that right there, you know, that, that realm of having ownership, dominance and submission right there, my friends. When I started studying human design, I hadn't moved over into um, doing it for work and I was still working online um, as a dominatrix out in the remote woods of Northern California. And I would run every single subs chart that I had. And I would see for the most part, they either had a 45 or they had a 21. It was a very common thing to have that look possessive slaves wear collars, right? We're non-possessive. It doesn't have to be that it's dominance and submission in the BDSM world, but I'm just telling you patterns of what I've seen and what I know. What I remember, let's continue on before I get too sticky in there. 33 is about the past experience. So I remember through this experience or I have the inexperience, I don't remember. I don't remember how this played out in the past you know, so it's always about the experience making sense after some retreat to gain clarity. That is true for all abstract, all of the abstract. The I can voice, I'm certain, I feel uncertain. Now, one of the things that I noticed before I had my uh, shift into 
this state of being where I am definitely more on track than off. At a very young age, I can remember myself constantly saying, I can't, I can't, I can't. Especially when I got really like torqued and screwed out of my sovereign state of being, my, my own authority. I would constantly say this, I can't do it. I just can't. Yeah. Out of an integrity, out of alignment. It, it can be also I can or I can't. But what the empowered individual knows is that they can. They don't know how they can. They don't know why they can. They just can necessarily, I would say, with the eight here because there's no um, awareness function here. The eight is about I can contribute or I can't here. So no big deal. All right. Individual creative self-expression leads to this voice. Speaking of leadership, let's move over. And that was all in pulse. We know that pulses for individuality. The 31, I lead in authority or powerlessness. I lead. Now, this is the voice that everybody goes, I never say that. I don't know what you're talking about, especially if they're unconscious, right? They have no idea how they lead. <laughs> but they might explain, let's say, with other voices, this is the direction that we're going in. This is the direction that we, because it's collective, we are going in because this is what's logical. I can see the pattern into the future. This is the way, you know, the world needs to be led another way of describing that. So they are having their authority through invitation, unless they're a manifester, you know. The process here is about elected leadership when it comes to 31. So leading, because this is the influential leader, the one that's designed to be followed, okay, designed to be followed. All of these traits are small group leadership traits, large group leadership trait, talking about leading individually going your own way. Okay, don't follow me. I am now. I'm going in my own direction. I'm decisive or I'm indecisive in contemplation of the now, the expression of the now, the intent of the now. Now, when we move up to a logic trait, another logic trait there, or three logic traits on this side, the 16 is about identification, not only with patterns, but with processes. The identification with experiments, yeah, to be able to develop talent, to be able to have skills, to have enthusiasm about sharing these skills and talents with the world. So they are either going to be approving in their frequency or there is going to be some kind of disapproval. No, I'm not enthusiastic about that. No, it's not really something that I identify with. No, you know, that kind of thing. So as far as the expression, skillful communication or not, you know, encouraging on one side is the abstract feeling, encouraging or discouraging really strong wealth potential here same thing on the other side on the mirror not as strong but still helping people to identify with patterns and solutions in the experiment of being a human in form remember this is all about form here now when we go to the i think voice this as you know the top three are metamorphic traits right they're translating light into sound formulas. So when they do such things, this is all about expressing our mind. It's not about these manifestation of action from here. The I think voice is either reasonable or unreasonable. Well, I think this, or I don't think that. Very hard to argue with the I think when they're quite certain, when they have the whole channel, especially, of course, when they're quite certain of what they think. So each of these traits have a different sound formula, word, vibrational frequency, and they are unique to each individual. So when they come together and these combinations of voices are speaking, that's their manifestation of relationship. Can you see how beautiful this is? How really cool it is as a key? It's like the secret game key codes to your relationship. 
I freaking love it. Okay. Uh, 